Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 119 and we are going to talk about that we have to know the score. By this expression that we have to know the score, we mean to say that we have to be calculated, we have to be estimated, we have to involve ourselves in a way that we are there to improve our emotional intelligence and at the same time we are not going to have superiority or inferiority complex. So for that concern, remember that when we talk about emotional intelligence, we need to have defined objectivity. We need to know what we targets targeting. We need to know what are quantified measures so that we can save hard work from the smart work. And as you all know, that smart work would mean that we have to be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time framed. The second important thing is that we need to have persistence because no one's life is a bed of roses. No one's life is a perfect game. Har kisi ki zindagi mein kuch na kuch utar chadhao wo zarur hai. Har kisi ki zindagi mein kuch na kuch conditions and constraints zarur hai. So we have to be persistent. We have to have the persistence. Because persistence hame resistance ko overcome karne mein madad deti hai. Now when we talk about emotional intelligence, there are certain things that we need to understand. First of all, that being a leader, we have to involve ourselves in a way with the other people taake hum unke andar creativity or innovation ka jo perspective hai, usko demonstrate karwa sake. Number two, being a leader, we never have to take the things for granted. Because Either being a leader or a follower, it would be the biggest mistake of your life ke agar aap kabhi cheezon ko, logon ko, vaakyat ko, halat ko, wo for granted le lo. Because remember ke har cheez ke back end ke oopar koi na koi reason and logic koi maslehat yakinan maujood hai. To for granted lene ki bajaye, we have to investigate, we have to sort out, we have to see ke cheezon ke jo real pemane or perspectives and aspects hai, wo kya hai. Thirdly, yaad rakhye ga ke being a leader you have to coach and mentor the other people so that aapki coaching se log develop kar sake log apni capabilities ko pehchan sake aur ho sakta hai ki unme se kal koi humse behtar leader ke taur par saamne wo aa sake another important thing is ke being a leader you have to empower the other people aur yaad rakhiyega ke when you empower the other people they can commit mistakes aur yaad rakhe ke jo cheez aap seekhte ho apni mistakes se वो चीज आप अदरवाइज शायद नहीं सीख पाते सो so, ये बहुत खुश नसीबी होगी उन लोगों के लिए कि जो अपनी कमियों को ताहियों से सीख लेते हैं जो गलतियों से सीख लेते हैं बिकॉज उससे आपको इस बात का अंदाजा हो जाता है कि गलती करने से असल नतीजा निकल क्या सकता है सो यू हैव एक्चुअली डेवलप्ड अ कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन विच यू हैव लर्न योर लेसन ऑफ लाइफ एन अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज बींग अ लीडर रिमेंबर यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द मूड्स एंड इमोशन ऑफ द पीपल हुआ देयर टू फॉलो यू बिकॉज जब तक आप उनके एहसासात और महसूस को नहीं अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे दे वुड नॉट बी एबल टू हैव अ ट्रस्ट वर्दी रिलेशनशिप विद यू अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें तो डियर स्टूडेंट्स याद रखिएगा कि इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस की डेवलपमेंट हमसे डिमांड करती है कि हम अपने ताल्लुक को इस तरह से उसवार करें कि जिसमें लोगों के जज्बात और एहसास मजरू ना हों हम अपने स्टेक होल्डर्स के साथ ऐसा रिलेशनशिप बनाएं कि जिसमें ट्रस्ट ट्रस्ट और इन्वॉल्वमेंट एंगेजमेंट और मोटिवेशन ये तमाम चीजें मद्देनजर रखी जाएं। 